Hello! Uh, welcome to Metroid Zero Mission. I remember trying to play this at one point, and it really just did not work out. So I'm hoping this time around it will actually work, and we'll play a bit of it. I guess I'll just play normal. But yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure we read some of the story before, so I don't think it's exactly important. But yeah, we're going back to Zeebs to do... Uh, to kill off uh, Mother Brain, as usual. Uh, since she's like the most popular female foe. Look at her, she's so cute. Alright, let's get her gone. I just gotta get a little used to the controls and then I should be rocketing. I, um... <laughs> Uh, as a little bit of an apology for having been gone for a short amount of time for my channel and um, having not done much other than having posted the uh, what was it <laughs> having posted the podcast yesterday um, I really didn't apologize for my lack of effort and my lack of um, uploads the past few days there was some stuff that happened and um it had really um, bummed me out, so to speak, and I just lost a lot of my motivation to post. I'm sorry that uh, I kind of abandoned you guys there, and I really don't like that that idea of um, having abandoned or having left you guys. Uh, so I'm really sorry. I'm back. Uh, I I'm not gonna say anything grand, so I really don't know. I might leave again. I can't promise you guys anything. Things are going to happen. I just have to deal with it. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to set up a schedule that these episodes will upload on a certain time every day. But um, I don't know how well that will work out because I don't want to keep my, uh, my laptop on all day. That would make me pretty upset if it like overheats while I'm at school and I can't be there to save all my shit. So yeah. Anyway. Anyway. We shall move on. And uh I don't I um a little fair warning. While I have played a few Metroid games, this is one of the ones I haven't played yet. At least not fully. I know that I've played a little bit of it before on my um on my PSP because I put an emulator on there. Because <laughs> I'm a dirty little boy. And I have no respect for rules. Yeah, bad boy. But, no, I just want, really want to play it. And I like using a controller. And you can get emulators on your PSP. It's like, alright, let's do this. I did it. And I'm pretty proud of myself, to be honest. <laughs> I don't feel all that bad. Really. Just because uh, it was all worth it. I got to play all of Fusion, which, um, I had, at one point, I had, like, really wanted to play Fusion, but I didn't have all that much time, really, to play it. Finally, Longbeam. So, the only time that I really was able to play Fusion was on my walk home from school, and even then, I should be keeping my eye on the road, <laughs> so I don't get fucking hit by a car, but, you know, I didn't do that. Anyway... Um, those walks would only take like 30 minutes to get home or like at one point I just stopped playing games and I just started running instead trying to slim down a little bit it did a little it did pretty good whatever uh, I didn't get to finish it is what I'm trying to point out and um, haven't been able to actually go in and play it I truly appreciate the Metroid series a lot more I think I understand a little bit more about it and I actually know what I'm doing for once so um if i ever end up playing a fusion on this just so you guys know i'm going to fucking wreck ass i am hella good at it ah oh, fuck me <laughs> i'm not used to the jumping still we gotta wait to do that oh. That's, this is the like the one thing about these games that i'm a little iffy about is the whole um yeah shoot the doors like, what the fuck? Why do I have to shoot a door to open it? Why can't I just walk up and it'd be like, Oh, hey! Hey, how's it going? 
Hey, Bill, I haven't seen you in a little while. What's up? Oh, fuck yeah. Give me that good shit. For, like, these first few episodes of this, I'm gonna be, like, able to rock it right through it. And once I get to, um, a new place, I'm gonna be like, um, 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 what do I do? So, I don't... I think I've fought one boss in this so far. When I was playing a little bit of it. Now, I didn't play it before I played this. So, this is, like, after not playing for, like, a month. Uh, which means that all my skills are now gone. And I have absolutely... No practice. And I'm basically running off of hope <coughs> that I am able to do good. Which I probably won't do good. I'm really expecting myself to suck a lot more. Oh, fuck me. Like, now. Jesus. What? Oh. It's the little, it's the little dangly doobers. Out of here. You fucking, you take away my health. Go away. I don't have bombs. I can't get rid of them. It'll make me sad. Why are you so dumb? Samus, I almost called you Zelda. Jesus. I can't stop paying attention to that little purple thing on me. See, I think we have to go. Yeah, we have to go this way. Slap on my nose. Black hole on the curb. Checking me. And do your job. Lay on the bed. And give me here. Don't have to ask. Don't have to beg. Juicy is my name. Sex is my game. I should probably stop. <laughs> I got. I keep on getting like random songs that I haven't listened to in fucking forever stuck in my head. Uh, I can't even remember it now. But I had it stuck in my head not too long ago, and like, it was making me really angry <laughs> because I couldn't remember the name to it, and I was like, ah, oh, damn it! I really want that on my playlist. I don't know if that ever happens to you, but like, I'll just be sitting in class, and all of a sudden I'll remember something from my childhood. Like, I was sitting in, cl in fucking history class, and all of a sudden I remembered when I played like Harry Potter for the Game Boy. I was like, oh, that was awesome! That was like so magical! And I got like on this huge Harry Potter kick for a little while, and it was pointless. And like, I watched a shit ton of the movies. Oh, it's this guy. Come at me, you big bitch. Oh, is it not here yet? Okay. Missiles. <laughs> Opens red hatches. Isn't that great? Fuck me. Okay. Oh. Oh, fuck. Ah, shit. I don't know what I was talking about. I was talking about my Harry Potter kick. And I... There we go. Alright. Fuck. Fuck. I did terribly. Are you fucking serious right now? Oh, you fucking cocksucker. You kiss your mother with that mouth, don't you? Give me bands. Thank you. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here, big boy. Fuck out of here, big boy. You guys, it's Saturday. What's Saturday for? Is it for the boys? Hey, uh, I need to fucking kill myself. Ah, oh, god, you fucking gag sucker. Get out of here. Yeah, get out of here. Jeez, I did terribly on that fight. When I first played it, I was like, oh, fuck yeah, alright, I got this. And now I'm like, oh, god damn it, fuck me. I really need ledge grip badly. 
I'm not used to not being able to grip ledges at all. It seems like such a simple thing. You should be able to have it right at the beginning. But no. Let's not have it. <laughs> Let's run around not being able to know how to grab onto a ledge simply because we don't have that power yet. <coughs> well, like, think about it. You have a suit. You have a suit of armor. You're running around. You're a normal human being. People know how to grab things. How do you not know how to grab on a goddamn ledge? Like, Jesus. Alright. Next time on this shit, we're gonna open a door. How about that? See you guys. Follow that end card.